With eBay's new managed payment system with Payoneer, many dropshippers have found it very confusing to understand what's going on, how the fees work now, how the payouts work, and everything else that comes along with it, as it's much different from PayPal and everything that we were used to up until now. But do not worry because in this video, I will explain how to work with eBay and Payoneer once your accounts are connected so that you will understand exactly how everything works and what you need to do. Quick intro and let's go. What's up everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about eBay's managed payment system with Payoneer, how everything works, how the whole payment system works, how much fees we have to pay compared to PayPal, how we can get the money when we get the money and how we can use the money in our Payoneer account to withdraw to our bank account, pay other services, for example, the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, if you're having AutoDS fulfill your orders, and so much more. So let's get right with it. And one second before that, if you are new to our YouTube channel, this is the part right now where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world when it comes to suppliers and marketplaces, features, content, and so much more. Hit that subscribe button, enable those notifications, and let's go. So one sec before that, if you haven't connected your eBay account to Payoneer yet, I'll leave a link right below this video, and I'll also leave a link at the end of this video and another one talking about this update in general. If you haven't heard about it yet, go watch those videos and then come back to this one once your accounts are connected. So let me show you my eBay account. First thing that you need to do is head over to your seller hub. And of course, this is only after you succeeded with the connection process. So what you wanna do is on the top right, go to my eBay and click on selling to get to the seller hub that we see over here. Then you wanna click on payments up here. Now, as you see, we didn't have the screen before when we were working with PayPal. But now everything is being managed through eBay. So let's see what we have here. First, we have the available funds. These are funds that are ready for me that eBay still hasn't paid me yet. Then there's an invoice. This is the old way of working where eBay would issue an invoice once a month with all of your final value fees, all of your promoted listing fees and every other fee that you're paying for eBay. You would get an invoice once a month. Be sure to have enough money on your PayPal account to pay for that invoice. But now everything is being deducted in advance so you won't be surprised by any invoice at the end of the month and then you'll have to go into it check everything see that everything is okay which is a little bit more of a hassle so this invoice these 80 dollars is what i had left from the month before when i was still working with paypal i used to make one time payments every week or two and i only have 80 dollars left to pay there so that's no problem we don't need to worry about that anymore what we need to worry about is the following First, you have the available funds. Then your next payout is scheduled for July 1st. Now, today is June 30th while I'm recording this video. And as you see here on the settings on the right side, I have my payout scheduled to be daily, which means I want eBay to send me my payments every day. Now, it does take them a couple of days to send you the payments for the orders that you are getting. So for example, if I'm getting an order on my store today, I'm going to get those funds in two days from now. This means that you will need to pay for your orders two days in advance. So if you know that you're making $500 in sales in a couple of days, make sure that you can pay for those orders because you won't be getting the customer's money before those two days are up. So you need once again to pay in advance for two days on all of your orders. So make sure that you have enough on your pay in your account or on your PayPal account if you're still loading payments through the managed system from PayPal. So let's see exactly what we have here. Over here, you see all of the recent transactions. If I click on see all, we will see all of the transactions that I've had ever since I've connected Payoneer with eBay. So here's all of the transactions. And let's move on to the second page, the oldest transactions or the first transactions that I had after the connection process. So as you see here, I have a whole bunch of orders. Sorry for the blurred screen, guys. I know that you cannot see what items I'm selling. You can definitely understand why we need to blur out these pictures. I have more than enough dropshippers copying my items as it is. So you can see the funds here on the right side. For example, I had one order totaling $509.97. eBay deducted $72 from that order in advance. So they're not going to invoice me one month from now for this order and for any other order. They already deducted it in advance. And out of those $510, they sent $437.90 to my Payoneer account from just this transaction. Now, if you want to see exactly why they took down, why they deducted $72, 
you can simply click on transaction details here on the left side. And here is what we can see now on the transaction details. First, you have the date when the buyer paid, which is June 21st. eBay processed the payment on June 21st and the funds were available on June 22nd, one day later. And then they simply sent the funds to my Payoneer account. I saw it a day later there. That's why I'm saying that I'm seeing the funds two days after I'm getting the order. Let's break down the fees and see exactly why they deducted $72 from an order totaling $509.97. So here are the fee details. As you can see, we have a final value fee, which is something that always existed. eBay would take an average of 9.15% from the old method, but now today they're taking 11.7%. But do not forget that eBay used to take 9.15% and PayPal used to take another 3.4 to 4.4% depending on your location. When you put these two together, you would get to your break even. So it used to be 9.15 plus 4.4. In my example, since I'm an international seller, 9.15 final value fee from eBay plus another 4.4% from PayPal used to sum up to a 13.55% break even before taxes and other things. So this is something that I knew that I had to take in advance when I was selling with eBay and PayPal. But today it's not totaling 13.55%. As you can see here, we got 11.7% final value fee raised from 9.15 and another international fee since I'm an international seller. I don't reside in the United States. I am a US citizen, but since I don't live in the US, I pay another 1.3% final value fee on top of that international fee on top of the final value fee. So 11.7% plus 1.3% totals 13%. So that's 0.55% lower than what I used to pay for PayPal. It's only half a percent, but it's still money at the end of the day. And the more money that you make, the more money that you're saving from that half a percent. And as you see here, they're also taking another 30 cents from every transaction, no matter what percentages you are paying, which is the same thing that PayPal used to do. So no harm, no foul there. So if we take the total order, which was $170, the buyer bought a quantity of three. We negotiated a best price. He agreed to that best price and bought three units, totaling $509.97. Out of that, eBay deducted 13% plus another 30 cents, totaling $72 in fees. And if you guys want to see the example, let's take 509.97 minus 13%. So we're down $66 just from the final value fee of 13% and the international fee. But as you see here, they took down, they deducted $71.77. So there's another $5 missing here. And where are those $5? Let's go back to all of the transactions. And as you see, there is an ad fee for this order because I sold it from promoted listings. eBay deducted under another $5.10 from that. So 66 plus five is 71. And as you see, that is exactly what eBay took here or 72 if you add the other 30 cents and other cents value that I missed. But that is exactly how we got to that price. And that is exactly how the fees work. So go inside every order and see exactly what fees eBay took from you, what they deducted from you. See that it makes sense on your end. And then you'll know exactly what your break even needs to be and how much profit you're making at the end of the day. So as we can see here, we saved another 0.5% another when compared to working with PayPal. So that is how the fees work. So as you see here, we see all of the transactions that we had and you can also see your payouts. So let me show you the first payout that I got. Here I got a payout of $461 on one of the payouts that I got from eBay. Now I remind you guys, eBay is sending me payouts every single day. That is because I set a daily payout on eBay settings that I showed you in the beginning of this video. So here is a payout that eBay sent. You can also click on that just like any other transaction that you had that I just showed you guys. So let's check out this payout. eBay created this payout on June 23rd it was in progress on the same date and they sent the funds on the same day. As we can see here, the total payout received funds $461.09, funds on hold $0, funds released $0, payout amount $461.09. So I got every last penny from that transaction and all of the orders that we have inside that transaction can be seen here. I know that you guys cannot see the products themselves, but you can see the dates June 21st on this store 
and the amount from every order. So we had some cheap orders, $10, $9, $15 orders, and we had a nice order of $510. So this payout amount came out to $461 after the fees here have been deducted from every transaction. That is how the payouts work and that is how the fees work. Now let's check out how it looks on Payoneer. So let me log into my Payoneer account. We saw how we can see the transaction when clicking on payments. Once again, you have your available funds. So this is the next payout that I'm going to get. And here are the previous payouts. As you guys saw yesterday, June 29th, today is the 30th. So yesterday, as you can see here, I got a payout of $267.65. So once again, I'm getting the payouts on a daily basis because I got the payout schedule here on the right side to be on the daily. I can also make it weekly or anything else, but I really don't see the reason for that. You want to get the money as soon as possible. There is no reason to have my money held at eBay or Payoneer or anyone else for that matter. Now let's go see how it looks on Payoneer. So here is Payoneer's website. I'm going to click on sign in to get into my account. Once again, I'm going to sign in. Okay, and here's my Payoneer dashboard. As we can see here, I got $385 that are completely free for me to use. I can pull them to my bank account, withdraw them. I can keep them for the managed payment system. And as you can see here, here are the transactions that I'm getting. So here is the payout that I'm getting from eBay. $267 was the last payout. Before that, I sent to Lior at AutoDS.com $200 and another $200 before that because I'm loading money onto the managed payment system because all of my orders are being fulfilled automatically. If you guys wanna know how to fulfill your orders automatically without having any buyer accounts, without worrying about locked accounts, check out the link that I'll leave right below this video to the Fulfilled by AutoDS managed system. This way, all you have to do is load balance. You're paying 0% fee from transferring money from Payoneer accounts to Payoneer accounts. So there is zero fee from doing that. Up until now, I used to pay 4% fee for every $100 that I'm transferring to pay for my orders because that's what PayPal used to take. Now with Payoneer, we're down to 0%. So from 4% to 0%, that's money at the end of the month. The more you buy, the more you purchase, the more you'll profit from that. So sending money from Payoneer to Payoneer comes at no cost. All I have to do is click on pay, make a payment to a recipient's Payoneer account, pay for free. Then I'll click on Lior at AutoDS.com, take from a USD balance, $200, purpose of payment, AutoDS managed, review, and confirm this payment. So transferring payments or making payments on Payoneer is very, very easy to do. Now let's see what else I can do with the funds that I have. So one, I can send it to my managed payment system to pay for my orders. Two, well, I'm making profit here at the end of the day. So let's take that profit and withdraw it to our bank account. So what I'm going to do is click on withdraw. Here I can choose where to withdraw from. So my USD balance to my bank account. How much do I want to withdraw? Let's go with $300. Now here I have a fee of $5.40. That's a 1.8% fee that Payoneer takes when withdrawing to my bank account. It differs depending on your location. So check out Payoneer's fees, how much they're taking for the withdrawal. Let's just make sure that we got the right numbers here. So 300 minus 1.8% is $5.04, which is exactly what I'm seeing here. So I know that this is true. I know that that's exactly what they're taking. That's it, you can write a description, review, and then confirm the transaction. Once I click on withdraw, the money will get to my bank account, and that is how I can get all of my profits and withdraw them to the bank account that I specified on my Payoneer account. The last thing that I wanna show you guys is the processing fees. So here we are back at eBay's page on the financial summary when we clicked on payments on the seller hub. As we know, we've got the available funds, which are funds that are going to be released to my account soon. And this number is building up as I get more sales throughout the day. Then I got my next payout scheduled for July 1st, which is tomorrow. And my last payout was sent on June 29th, which was yesterday. And as you can see here, we got $355.92 that are still processing from the sales that I had the other day. Then I've got the funds that I have on hold. So if a customer opens a case against me, that fund will be on hold. But since I don't have any funds on hold right now, everything is working fine. Everything is actually in processing. And if I click on that, I can see all of the transaction, all of the sales that are currently processing, which is everything that we see here from June 29th, which is just the other day. So these are the sales that I had. Here is the amount, as you can see here, $34, $130, $28, $100. So we had some high ticket sales, we got some medium ticket sales, and we have a couple of low ticket sales, or maybe even one. So as you can see, this store is profiting well, it's connected with eBay and Payoneer, and everything is working fine. If you have any questions on how to work with eBay and Payoneer, if there's any question that I did not address in this video, 
please let me know right below in the comments and I will personally answer them. Just so you guys know, this is actually a very smooth and very streamlined process for managing our payments. I'm very happy that eBay actually made this partnership with Payoneer. It is making me pay less fees at the end of the day. I do have to wait two days to see the payments for the orders, but I have enough money to pay for the orders until those couple of days have passed. And then I start getting those funds into my account, using it to fulfill my orders once again and the other half withdrawing to my bank account because we're here to profit at the end of the day and that is exactly what is happening. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Do not forget to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. See you in the future videos.